Well hello and welcome. In this presentation I will be looking at recurrence relationships and how they can be applied to solve problems involving simple interest. Now, simple interest is associated with linear growth and the recurrence rule Vn, the value of my nth term equals V0, which is the value of my initial term, plus N multiplied by D. D is basically the amount of interest that I have earned. It's the, this difference between this height here and that height there. You'll notice each time it's the same, that the distance here is the same. I earn the same amount of interest each time period. So, just as a recap, linear growth is all about a, an arithmetic sequence in which we increment or we'll move up by the same amount each time. We start from an initial value, in this case 200, and we have a rule to find our next value. So we can say that our next value equals our current value plus 3. That is the recurrence relationship. And the recurrence rule Vn equals our initial value plus n multiplied by d. In other words, it would Vn the value of my nth term will equal 200 plus 3 times the number of terms, my nth term. So, we're going to go and look at three examples, just basically applying this recurrence rule. Hopefully you'll get the hang of it fairly quickly. So, say I deposit $200 at the bank and earn $3 interest every month. How many months does it take for me to earn $300 interest? So, what I need to do is break this down into my recurrence relationship, my recurrence sequence, in other words. I'm starting at a value of 200, I'm adding three each time. How many times do I need to add to three until I get to well, basically 500 because on each one of these is the interest I've earned three dollars so my initial value is 200 and I'm going up by three so so I'm looking to solve this equation here well my value so how long until I have five hundred dollars in the bank in other words that's my three hundred dollars worth of interest equals 200 plus 3n then I can just basically solve this with a little bit of algebra so find my pen here we go here not sure what color we have so so I'm basically trying to solve 500 equals 200 plus 3n need to subtract 200 from both sides There we go, 300 equals 3n. So, what multiplied by 3 gives me 300? n will be equal to 100. There you go. And it, the unit will be months. So there you have it. Let's move on to our second example. I borrowed $200, well no, actually I borrowed $2,000 from the bank at an interest rate of 5% per annum. How much money, in other words, what is the amount that I must repay at the maturation or whenever, when actually my loan matures in six years time? So, so I need to start thinking about my number sequence, in other words, my initial value is 2000. 
Now I know I'm going to go up by a rate of 5% each year. So I'm going to be going up by $100 each year. Now you might be saying, how do I calculate $100? Well, it's really 5%, 5% per annum of the $2,000 that I have borrowed. There is my $100. So, so what I'm looking at here, VN will be my initial value plus ND. In other words, I have to pay back in six years time, the $2,000, which is my initial value plus, well, there's six years of $100 interest in each year. There you have it. Again, fairly trivial, but you can see how I'm applying that number sequence there without actually writing the sequence. And a final example. Okay, and now for the third example. Say I invest $120,000 at an interest rate of 2% per annum and interest is calculated quarterly and paid at the end of the loan in six years time. How much money is in my account after the six years? So straight away, I, I have in the back of my mind the recurrence relationship and the recurrence rule. My initial value, well, where do I start with? I start with $120,000. And I know that every quarter, my value here will increase by a value of D. Now this time, the value of D is $600. Now, you might ask, how do I calculate that? Well, it's 2% of 120,000 is what I would receive every year because that's the per annum. However, I'm receiving this four times a year, so I have to divide it by four. So, if I plug these values into the recurrence rule, well, the rule VN equals V0 plus ND, I need to know, well, after 24 interest payments, 24, well, six years quarterly, I misspelled the word quarterly. So V24 will be, well, that's my initial deposit of 120,000 plus 24 repayments of $600 interest, and that's the amount that I would have earned. Whoops, there. So there you have it. I hope this presentation has given you a much better understanding of how to apply simple interest with the view of recurrence relations. So until next time, good maths. Bye for now.